everybody, Rob Nelson here, and today we're gonna show you how to do the vertigo effect. So if you can see over there on the horizon, there's a big outcrop of pink rocks. Now we're gonna do most of this in post, but there's a few things that you can think about while you're out in the field shooting. The first thing is you wanna shoot in 4K or higher, if you can do that. Now the one thing I'm gonna make sure of is that that pink mountain is in the very center of the frame. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that there are foreground elements that we're passing by fairly closely. So we got the hillside that I'm gonna use as a foreground element and we got some trees kind of nearby. Um, and it's kind of an interesting effect. Looks a little bit like this. Hey, this is where it gets cool. Notice how the background is actually shrinking in size, yet the foreground, these hills, are getting bigger and moving past the camera. But the real magic happens when you get back to the studio. Perfect! Now let's talk about this effect. This whole effect was made famous in 1958 by Alfred Hitchcock, you may have heard of that dude, in a film called Vertigo. Check it out. Now many other people have used this to kind of make the world feel like it's closing in on their characters. And see if you recognize any of these. And I learned how to do this in film school. We didn't call it the vertigo effect though, we called it the dolly zoom, because essentially you would take a camera on a dolly and either you would move forwards while you zoom out or you'd dolly backwards as you zoom in. And what that does is it keeps the proportion of your subject, usually a person, say their head, the same while the background is warping. And it's this trippy effect and it's really cool. And that brings us to what we're doing today, which is doing it with a drone. And the drone does the dollying back and forth. And if you're shooting in 4K, but rendering out in 1080, that simulates the zoom. So it's still a dolly zoom. If you're flying forwards, dollying forwards, then what you need to do is zoom out from your 4K image, and the same if you're flying backwards, then you zoom in. Let me show you how that works in post. This technique works the same in Adobe Premiere as it does in Final Cut Pro. Here is Adobe Premiere though, I'll just show you real quick. Here is your clip in the timeline, and if you go up to Effect Controls in this window here, you'll see you can scrub backwards and forwards. This is a 4K clip, so it's actually zoomed in to a 1080 timeline, so it's, it's at 100%. Um, and this particular one is dolling in, if you can see this. So we want it to get wider as it dollies forward. So all I do is I go to the very beginning, I set a little keyframe on the scale, I move to the end. For a 4K kip, all you do is you do about 50%. That makes it all the way out as far as it'll go, and you can check that just by scrolling back and forth, right? And it is 4K at about 50%. So let's just hit play on this clip and see what happens. As you can see, the background is now getting slowly smaller. Those mountains are shrinking as the foreground is coming and getting bigger up front. Well, that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple technique. I thought I would give you some of the background while I was at it though. This is just fun. I love doing this for all of you every Tuesday. Um, stay tuned, because Jonas is coming in in a couple of weeks and we're doing live stuff then. And a little bit of extra time setting up the audio. It's gonna help you a lot in the final production. I've got more stuff from the mountains of Colorado coming out next Tuesday. Also, big thanks to our patrons who are helping support all of this. And we'll see you on Tuesday. This is extremely fun right now. Uh, we've got some backlighting going on back here. Rob set up some loom cubes, and uh, yeah, the shots are turning out freaking epic. 